Hello my friends, and welcome back to the You Can Do TV channel. In this video, we will explore the manufacturing process of complex giant machines like the largest screw compressors, giant gas turbines, and aircraft engines. The manufacturing process of the air compressor ARMAX-1 by MAN Diesel and Turbo showcases a culmination of innovation, precision engineering, and decades of expertise. This advanced compressor technology, designed for air separation units, represents a pinnacle in the industry's drive for efficiency, reliability, and performance. The journey of creating the ARMAX-1 begins with an intricate design and engineering phase. Engineers employ cutting-edge software tools and simulations to meticulously design every component, ensuring optimal aerodynamics, pressure ratios, and structural integrity. This phase lays the foundation for what will become a high-performing, durable machine. Material selection is a critical step in ensuring the compressor's robustness. Premium materials, including specialized alloys and coatings, are chosen to withstand the extreme pressures, temperatures, and mechanical stress that the ARMAX-1 will encounter during operation. These materials are carefully shaped through precision machining using CNC technology, ensuring every component meets exacting specifications. At the heart of the ARMAX-1's performance lies its revolutionary axial blading technology, MAX-1. Integrating this blading system demands exceptional precision. The blades are designed to optimize airflow, pressure ratios, and overall efficiency. They are expertly crafted and integrated, contributing significantly to the compressor's performance. The assembly phase is where the individual components come together to form a cohesive unit. Each meticulously machined part, from the axial blading and radial diffuser to the intercooler and impeller, is assembled with precision. This meticulous assembly process ensures seamless integration and high efficiency, setting the stage for the compressor's exceptional performance. Quality control plays a pivotal role in the process. Rigorous inspections, measurements, and tests are conducted at various stages to ensure that the compressor meets the highest standards. This meticulous attention to detail guarantees dimensional accuracy, material integrity, and performance consistency, while also identifying any potential issues. The compressor undergoes comprehensive testing to validate its performance. Rigorous performance tests evaluate pressure ratios, flow rates, efficiency, and surge resistance. These tests not only verify the compressor's capabilities, but also ensure it operates optimally in real-world conditions, meeting the demands of industrial applications. In larger air separation units, the ARMAX-1 is integrated with other components, such as integrally geared booster air compressors and driving steam turbines. This seamless integration ensures that the entire system operates harmoniously and efficiently, delivering reliable performance. Installation and commissioning are the final steps in the process. Skilled technicians meticulously install the ARMAX-1 as part of the larger air separation unit. The system undergoes rigorous checks to ensure proper alignment, connection, and synchronization with other equipment. For decades, the aerospace industry's quest for more efficient and powerful jet propulsion systems has been fueled by the tantalizing promise of ceramic matrix composites, CMCs. 
These cutting-edge materials, also known as CMCs, represent a departure from conventional metallic alloys, offering a unique combination of exceptional heat resistance, reduced weight, and increased strength. The journey to harness the full potential of CMCs has been one marked by challenges, breakthroughs, and a relentless pursuit of innovation. Unlike conventional materials that rely solely on metals, CMCs are composed of meticulously engineered combinations of ceramic fibers and matrix materials. This intricate structure allows CMCs to achieve the remarkable feat of being both tough and lightweight. Characteristics that have captivated the imagination of aerospace engineers for decades. Imagine a material that can endure the punishing heat generated by jet engines without succumbing to the brittleness often associated with ceramics. CMCs have achieved precisely that. At a microscopic level, CMCs reveal their intricate architecture. Silicon carbide fibers, thinner than a human hair, encoded with proprietary materials, form the backbone of the material. These fibers are painstakingly embedded within a matrix of the same material, creating a lattice-like structure that imparts strength and durability. The resulting composite is a testament to human ingenuity, a material that combines the best attributes of ceramics and metals. However, realizing the full potential of CMCs for jet propulsion has not been without its challenges. Manufacturing these advanced materials in quantities suitable for commercial applications has posed a significant hurdle. Early applications were limited to larger structures like missile housings and fighter jet exhaust systems. The complexity of CMC production, combined with the need for consistent quality at scale, required a revolutionary approach to manufacturing. After years of relentless research and development, scientists at GE research centers across the United States made significant strides in cracking the production code. The breakthroughs led to the integration of thousands of CMC parts into the hottest sections of jet engines, marking a turning point in the aerospace industry's journey. GE's commitment to pushing the boundaries of technology allowed them to overcome manufacturing challenges and unlock the transformative potential of CMCs. The key advantage of CMCs lies in their remarkable heat resistance. Silicon carbide, the foundation of CMCs, can withstand temperatures of up to 2,400 degrees Fahrenheit, making it ideal for high-performance applications like jet engines. This extraordinary heat resilience reduces the need for cooling air, which was traditionally diverted to maintain the durability of engine components. This newfound flexibility in cooling air management directly contributes to improved fuel efficiency and overall engine performance.
As CMC technology continues to evolve, the benefits become increasingly pronounced. The lightweight nature of CMCs, one-third the density of traditional metal alloys, translates to reduced engine weight. In the context of aviation, lighter engines lead to improved fuel efficiency, resulting in reduced emissions and operational costs. Furthermore, the combination of reduced weight and higher heat resistance opens the door to greater thrust capabilities, enhancing an aircraft's overall performance. In 1995, General Electric GE, revolutionized long-haul travel with the groundbreaking GE90 engine and its innovative carbon fiber composite fan blades. This marked the beginning of a transformative journey in aviation propulsion. Building on this legacy, GE continued to redefine possibilities with the GE NX engine series, pushing the boundaries of propulsion and fuel efficiency. And now, a new chapter unfolds with the GE 9X engine. The GE 9X boasts a 16 fourth generation carbon fiber composite fan blades that set new standards in thinness, strength, and efficiency. These fan blades represent a culmination of engineering prowess, making them the most advanced ever produced. The compressor within the GE 9X engine achieves an unprecedented pressure ratio of 27 to 1, a remarkable milestone in aviation history. Complementing this is a cutting-edge lean-burning combustor capable of handling extreme pressures and temperatures, showcasing the engine's high-performance capabilities. Incorporating state-of-the-art manufacturing techniques such as 3D printing, the GE9X engine assembles components that were previously unattainable. The utilization of advanced materials, including ceramic matrix composites, further elevates its capabilities. These composites exhibit double the strength and only a third of the weight of traditional metal components. The GE9X propels aviation into a new era of sustainability, promising 10% better fuel efficiency than its predecessor and surpassing noise and NOx emissions regulatory standards. This is all achieved without compromising the exceptional reliability GE is renowned for, ensuring a world-class engine that meets the stringent demands of the industry. The PTG Hallroyd X-Series rotor and pump screw milling machines are renowned for their ability to create intricate screw compressor rotor profiles with high speed and accuracy. One of the standout features of the X-Series machines is their capability to manufacture rotor or worm helix profiles in blanks with diameters of up to 850 millimeters, setting a new standard in machining. When dealing with larger diameters exceeding 1,000 millimeters, the custom-built 10X model steps in to handle the same milling tasks efficiently. These machines are incredibly versatile, excelling not only in crafting complex components with helical screw profiles, but also in milling gear parts like worm shafts. The hallmark features of the X-Series include advanced technologies like on-machine probing and dry milling techniques for specific materials, enhancing their overall performance. Key features of the X-Series include a powerful, menu-driven touchscreen CNC programming interface, various CNC system options, quick change tooling for swift setup, high-precision rotational accuracy, high-speed milling spindle for efficiency, and exceptional metal removal rates. Additional features like an optional hollow spindle for longer components, diverse chucking and work holding choices, and seamless integration with automated parts handling systems contribute to the overall excellence of these machines. The X-Series comes in a range of models, each designed for different part sizes. 
from the 2EX for parts up to 250 millimeters in diameter to the 10EX for parts exceeding 1000 millimeters in diameter. These machines cater to a wide array of machining needs. The screw compressor employs a unique compression process to enhance efficiency in various applications. Two helical rotors, typically known as male and female rotors, interlock within a housing. As these rotors turn, air or gas is trapped between the rotor's helical grooves and compressed as the rotors mesh tighter. This continuous process ensures a smooth, pulsation-free flow of compressed air gas. Advantages of screw compressors include high efficiency, low vibration, reduced maintenance due to fewer moving parts, suitability for continuous operation, and adaptability to varying load demands. These traits make screw compressors ideal for industrial uses, refrigeration, and air conditioning, meeting diverse compressed air needs. Witness the remarkable assembly of the T580, the largest screw compressor in the industry, in a captivating time-lapse video. Crafted at Howden's Renfrew facility, this Barry shaft marvel is a pinnacle of engineering. Evolving from the successful V500 series, the T580 showcases over 30% greater volume capacity, epitomizing the company's innovation. A paragon of efficiency, it integrates variable V, efficient rotor profiles, and instrumentation options for optimal gas compression solutions. With reliability at its core, its low tip speed design and oil injection ensure a 99% uptime, while advanced condition monitoring empowers remote operation and maintenance. Man diesel engines are renowned for their exceptional performance and reliability in the marine industry. These engines are designed to power various types of vessels, ranging from cargo ships and container vessels to ferries and cruise ships. Known for their robustness and fuel efficiency, man marine diesel engines are trusted by ship owners and operators worldwide. One key technology integrated into these engines is the exhaust gas turbocharger. This innovation optimizes engine efficiency by increasing the intake air pressure which allows for better combustion and ultimately enhances power output. The turbocharger operates by utilizing exhaust gases to drive a turbine, which in turn compresses the intake air before it enters the combustion chambers. This results in higher engine power without a significant increase in fuel consumption. Exhaust gas turbochargers offer several benefits, including improved engine performance at various load levels and altitudes, reduced emissions, and enhanced fuel efficiency. They enable ship operators to achieve higher speeds and meet stringent emissions regulations without sacrificing overall engine efficiency. Additionally, these turbochargers contribute to reduced engine wear and maintenance, leading to extended engine life and lower operating costs. The manufacturing and assembly process of Holset turbochargers is a meticulously orchestrated journey that combines cutting-edge technology, skilled craftsmanship, and unwavering commitment to quality. It begins with the procurement of components from various global suppliers, each contributing a vital piece to the turbocharger puzzle. These components, sourced from countries like India, the USA, China and local suppliers, come together at the Charleston Turbocharger Plant, CTP, in a symphony of precision engineering. The process starts with a stringent supplier selection procedure, ensuring that only the highest quality components are used. This meticulous selection process sets the foundation for the turbocharger's performance and reliability. Upon arrival at the CTP, these components are subjected to thorough quality checks to ensure they meet the exacting standards necessary for assembly.
The heart of the turbocharger, the impeller, and the shaft wheel assemblies undergo a series of intricate machining operations that define their performance characteristics, with the turbocharger spinning at speeds of up to 130,000 revolutions per minute, precision is paramount. Tolerances are managed with an unmatched level of precision achieved through advanced machining processes. Balancing procedures are meticulously executed to ensure the components can endure the extreme forces and velocities within the turbocharger. The assembly process is a carefully choreographed sequence where attention to detail and quality assurance are paramount. Each step is monitored by computerized systems that track and manage production data, ensuring consistency and adherence to established standards. Automated processes and robotic systems are introduced at critical stages to eliminate variability and enhance precision. Quality checks are pervasive throughout the assembly line. Multiple attribute gauges verify that only the correct components are used, and leak tests ensure the integrity of the assembled turbochargers. Failsafe mechanisms are in place to catch any deviations and prevent the production of subpar units. This commitment to quality at every stage of assembly culminates in the creation of turbochargers that exceed performance expectations. Once assembled, the turbochargers undergo rigorous testing to verify their functionality, durability, and adherence to performance benchmarks. Only after passing these tests are the turbochargers ready for shipment. Customers around the world, including renowned brands in the automotive and heavy-duty industries, eagerly integrate these turbochargers into their products to unlock increased power, fuel efficiency, and emissions reduction. The primary manufacturing technique used for these turbine blades is the ancient method of lost wax casting. This method involves several steps, core production. The process starts with the creation of the core, which simulates the inner cavity of the turbine blade. A mixture of binder and ceramic is injected into a machine, forming a delicate core structure. To reinforce the core's integrity, it is then baked in a sand bed. This hardening process makes the core more robust and capable of withstanding the subsequent manufacturing steps. Injection Molding the wax injection molding phase is where the core is used as a template to create wax models of the turbine blades. The cores are inserted into an injection mold and molten wax is injected under high pressure. As the wax solidifies, it takes the shape of the core, forming a wax replica of the intricate turbine blade geometry. Deburing and testing. Once the wax models are removed from the mold, they undergo meticulous deburing. This step involves removing any excess or irregular wax material to ensure the fidelity of the final product. Additionally, the wax models undergo thorough ultrasound and radiography tests to identify any defects that might have occurred during the injection process. Cluster Development to facilitate the casting process, the wax models are organized into clusters. These clusters group several wax models together, making it easier to handle multiple turbine blade replicas simultaneously. The creation of these clusters is a carefully orchestrated step developed by the product method office, ensuring efficient and controlled casting. Ceramic Shell Formation the wax models, now arranged in clusters, are immersed in a ceramic slip, a liquid paste that coats the clusters. This is followed by the application of ceramic sand, forming a layer over the clusters. This process is repeated multiple times, with each iteration adding a layer of ceramic material. As the layers build up, they create a robust ceramic shell around the wax models.
Wax Removal and Ceramic Shell Integrity The ceramic shells now house the wax models within. The shells are heated to melt and eliminate the wax, leaving behind a hollow ceramic shell with the intricate turbine blade cavity. It's a critical phase where the ceramic shell's integrity must be maintained, preventing any cracks or deformations that could affect the final product's quality. Casting and cooling. With the ceramic shells preheated, molten metal is poured into them. The metal solidifies within the ceramic mold, taking the shape of the turbine blade. The cooling process is carefully controlled to achieve specific material properties, ensuring the blade's performance and durability. Shake off and defining the rough blade. After cooling, the metal retracts slightly, causing the ceramic shell to develop controlled cracks. This phenomenon, known as shake off, is essential for removing the ceramic shell easily. The rough blade emerges, still connected to its neighboring blades by the clusters. Finishing and testing. The rough blades undergo various finishing processes to refine their shape, improve their performance, and enhance their durability. Metal stellites are added to areas prone to friction to reduce wear. Grinding operations achieve a clearer and more precise shape, while adjustments round off any sharp edges. Complementary parts and heat treatments. Additional components, like small complementary parts, are attached to the blades using solder beads. These parts are melted into place in furnaces. The same furnaces are also used for heat treatments and thermochemical treatments, which optimize the blade's properties for high-performance applications, quality checks, and traceability. Before leaving the manufacturing process, the turbine blades undergo a battery of quality checks, these include macro control for general inspection, dye penetrant testing to detect visible surface defects, ultrasonic thickness control, dimensional inspection, and internal health control using digital radiography. These checks ensure that only high quality blades proceed to the next stage. Final steps. The last steps involve laser marking the blades for identification purposes and weighing them for quality assurance. Additionally, photographs of the blade's position within the box are taken to ensure complete traceability throughout the manufacturing process, delivery, and assembly. Once these steps are completed, the turbine blades are ready for delivery. They will be transported to skilled assemblers like Damien at San Cantano Neblin who will meticulously integrate them into the LEAP engine, contributing to the optimal performance of the aircraft's propulsion system. The manufacturing process of turbine blades involves a symphony of engineering, precision, and advanced techniques, with each step carefully designed to ensure the highest quality and performance standards are met. The Harriet gas turbine emerges as an unparalleled feat of engineering, boasting the titles of the world's largest, greenest, and most potent turbine upon its debut. Assembled for the first time at the European headquarters of Geely Power and Water in Belfort, France, by a team of skilled French engineers, Harriet represents the future of turbine technology. With a colossal investment of US$1 billion, this colossal machine redefines the boundaries of energy production. The turbine's extraordinary blades, crafted from superalloy monocrystals, are fortified by thermal barrier coatings that enable them to withstand searing temperatures up to 2,900 degrees Fahrenheit, 1,600 degrees Celsius. 
guiding the flow of intense hot air are innovative variable stator vanes, reminiscent of supersonic jet engines. The turbine will undergo rigorous validation tests in extreme conditions at G's facility in Greenville, South Carolina, taking it from the heart of industrial France to the American coast. Nestled within the idyllic wind test site field in the Netherlands, a monumental event is unfolding. The meticulous installation of an immense GE wind turbine, specifically the awe-inspiring 3.6-137 model. This remarkable engineering achievement, masterminded by GE Europe, marks a substantial leap forward in the pursuit of sustainable energy solutions with a clear mission to power households, hospitals, and public institutions across the region. The wind turbine itself commands attention. A towering figure composed of a tubular steel tower that reaches an astonishing height of 131 meters, the turbine's colossal blades stand as a testament to modern engineering prowess, stretching an impressive 67.2 meters in length. The culmination of these dimensions results in a striking rotor diameter of 137 meters. However, the impact of this turbine transcends its sheer physical magnitude. The generator capacity has been magnified to an impressive 3.6 megawatts, promising an annual energy yield that significantly surpasses its predecessors. This notable advancement showcases the remarkable potential of harnessing wind energy to meet our ever-growing electricity demands. At the heart of the 3 megawatts turbine platform is its remarkable adaptability across a spectrum of wind conditions. The platform's versatility is underscored by the turbine's power output range, spanning from 3.2 to 4.2 megawatts. This strategic flexibility ensures that the turbine can effectively harness energy from varying wind strengths and patterns. A notable addition to this platform is the 4.0137 turbine, a standout performer optimized for Class 3 wind conditions, which speaks to GE's commitment to pushing the boundaries of wind energy technology. One of the hallmark features of the 3 MW turbine platform is its integration of advanced controls technology. GE's innovative condition monitoring system CMS and SCADA Anomaly Detection Services offer sophisticated solutions for real-time monitoring of the turbine's health. By proactively identifying potential issues, these systems optimize the turbine's operational availability while also curbing maintenance expenses, thus bolstering the overall efficiency and reliability of the turbine. Moreover, the turbine design incorporates GE's patented Advanced Loads Control Mechanism, this ingenious feature utilizes precision blade pitch adjustment to effectively manage turbine component stress, particularly during periods of extreme wind loads, such as near-rated wind speeds. This innovation plays a pivotal role in enhancing annual energy production by minimizing the impact of stress on the turbine's components. The heart of the turbocharger consists of either a radial or axial turbine, which harnesses the energy from hot exhaust gases emitted by diesel or gas engines. The resulting energy drives the turbine, while a radial compressor on the same shaft supplies the engine with compressed air. These components are designed for high-speed operation rotating at up to 60,000 revolutions per minute, enabling enhanced engine performance. The production process of turbochargers begins with cutting-edge machinery like five-axis milling machines and CNC-controlled lathes for precision machining of components. The quality of essential parts is maintained through CNC and NCE technology, ensuring tolerances down to thousands of a millimeter. After machining, 
turbine wheels and compressors undergo separate overspeed tests to verify their durability. Balancing is a critical aspect as it determines the smooth running and longevity of the exhaust turbocharger. The turbine's housing also undergoes state-of-the-art machining, supported by pallet systems that enhance flexibility in handling diverse orders. High-precision 3D coordinate measuring technology guarantees the accuracy of various components. Assembly of individual parts requires expertise and precision. Extensive testing, including functional and thermodynamic evaluations, takes place in the turbocharger test center. Upon successful trials, the turbocharger receives a protective coating. KBB's commitment to quality management is demonstrated by its ISO 9001 certification. KBB's exhaust turbochargers undergo stringent testing and have received accreditation from multiple classification societies. The company has a strong global presence with service centers across key shipbuilding countries. With a customer-oriented approach, KBB emphasizes rapid response times, tailored solutions, and personalized customer care.